Las Vegas Raiders star tight end Darren Waller has a deal in place with the Las Vegas Raiders and is also potentially going to be represented by the same agent as Antonio Brown. People wondered, you know, what is the future of Darren Waller with the Las Vegas Raiders after he fired his agent Clutch Sports just last week? But now senior NFL insider Josina Anderson says the Raiders and tight end Darren Waller have a deal in discussion that would make him the highest paid at his position in terms in terms of new money APY, in terms of yearly money at $16 million a year, Darren Waller currently makes roughly $7 million a year and has been seeking a pay raise. And now it seems like the Raiders will oblige and pay Darren Waller. Darren Waller, after firing Clutch Sports, people wondered, you know, is his future with the Raiders a question mark? Is this guy wanting too much money and the Raiders might not have enough to pay him? And the Raiders do have $21 million in cap space this year. The problem is next year, according to Spotrack, Track.com, the Raiders only have $8 million in cap space next year. So what the Raiders are doing now, if they do give Darren Waller this pay raise, they're going to pretty much increase his pay from $7 million, add $9 million on top of that, making it $16 million. That's a million more than the Raiders have in cap space next year. So there are going to be some decisions that are going to be made on some other players on this team. But it is good news that the Raiders and Darren Waller are working together, and it looks like he will be getting a new deal relatively soon. Prior to firing his agent, Darren Waller had missed tons of practice, only practicing once in the month of August. But Josh McDaniels always maintained that him and Darren Waller are in conversation and things are working out. He's doing, like I said, he's doing everything he can to get out there as soon as he, he, he can be. And I, I don't want to make a prediction on whether he will or won't be ready here in a few weeks. But, you know, like I said, I, I see him every day. He's in every meeting. He's doing everything he can to get out there as fast as possible. And, and I feel like this is, you know, he knows that he's going to be a big part of this this team and, and what we want to do. And he's right there, at, like I said, in every meeting. But I'm not concerned about it. So even though Darren Waller was not on the practice field, he still was at the facility hanging out, talking with Josh McDaniels and learning. But the new contract always lurked in the background. Was Darren Waller seriously going to play this year and next year, being the 17th highest paid tight end in the NFL? But no, the Raiders said they will help this guy out, making him the number one highest paid tight end in the NFL. George Kittle currently makes $15 million, Travis Kelsey at 14.3, Darren Waller will be right above those guys. So when you look at the AFC West, it's quite clear who has the best weapons in the whole entire division and arguably the best weapons in the NFL. Devontae Adams set to make $28 million a year next year, Hunter Renfro at $16 million, now potentially Darren Waller at $16 million as well. You got some high-powered, high-valued players at these offensive skill positions. Derek Carr has never really had a season like this. Thinking back, really the best weapons he's ever had throughout his whole entire career was that brief moment in 2021 when you had Henry Ruggs, Hunter Renfro, and Darren Waller all at the same time. And a little bit in 2016, the Amari Cooper, Michael Crabtree connection there. But I believe this year for sure is significantly better than both of those times. And now the sky is the limit for the Las Vegas Raiders. Like this video if you're still watching it right now and subscribe to the Raiders rundown for more Raiders content. My name is Wi-Fi Willie. Peace out and I hope you have a good one.